All right, well, Dorisk seems to be in this uh, tree house. Dorisk? Oh, it's a sliding door. Hey, buddy. You've come. This is good. It means you're at least capable of navigating a dense forest by yourself. Although I will admit I expected you here sooner. Are you ready to begin? What's going on? We're sparring. Byersail didn't tell you that? Um... Nobody tells me anything. <laughs> then you and I have something in common after all. Just one question first. Is this a treehouse? Yes, it is. If that sounds too childish, you can call it a pine-elevated mini-fortress. I like that. It provides an excellent view of the surrounding area, and the advantage of high ground against anyone foolish enough to attack us. As a ranger, the elevation makes me feel right at home. A lot more than that hideout does, at least. I'm pleased in a way, for I built this area with that very intention. But I can bore you with talk of my architecture any day. How about it? Are you ready? Uh... Yes. Rules are simple. I'll let you know when I've seen enough. Until then, we try to kill each other. You can use whatever kind of weapon you wish. Magic, swords, hammers, bows, I don't care. I just, in sight. I just unleash my shout on him and he's like, what is that? What did you just do to me? Your mistake. That, that was easy. Are you all right? I may have gotten a little carried away. Still, you managed to stay up longer than most who come blade to blade with me. What do you mean? I won that! And there was nothing notably suspicious about the way you handled yourself. I absolutely won that. All right. You have my respect, friend. When the time comes, I will speak on your behalf. Okay. That, that's really uh -huh. all I needed, but thank you. Oh, and... Oh, the texture on this is also a little wonky. Nope. Oh. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Oh, what is going on? Where is that ladder going? Wait, is it just going to keep going? Um. I have never seen this before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the only option I had. It wasn't letting me use the ladder. Where did that ladder go? Can I... I don't know where it went. There it is. Okay. Well, it stopped eventually. That's good. Yeah, this has the same... Actually, no. Down here it looks fine. Kind of. No, no, no. It still has the same issue that the um, little weather vane had where it's just not see-through. Or the transparent layer isn't entirely transparent. It sort of has like a black layer. Okay. A brash rescue. Find Tinruth. Oh god, that's far away. Oh, that's far from... Oh no. Yeah, it's far from everything, and I'm currently the closest that I can get to it, just in terms of locations that I have on my map. Oh, wow. Oh, god damn it, Tinruth. Of course you're gonna make this hard on me. Oh! <gasps> I, I really hope he's not hostile to me. Oh, can I not interact with him at all? Well, that's too bad. I was hoping I could. Still, that's pretty cool. Got a goblin camp right here. And I see plenty of goblins and no Tinruth. Goblin. There we go. There's one more. Right. Oh no, there's a couple more. Golf Nimbles hideout. 
Golf Nimble's gonna be the Goblin Chief. He's gonna be pissed because I killed the other Goblin Chief. No, oh, no. This is where... Um... My actions are gonna have consequences. Because I killed the Goblin Chief before when I absolutely wasn't supposed to. Ooh, that's a little gruesome. Hello? Oh, yep, alright, we got goblins. Oh, and now we have goblin soldiers who are partially armored, so they're stronger than the, the normal goblins that we've seen. Where do you think you're going? I'm still here. You think that slowly walking away from me means I'm not going to see you? I did see you. It really does amaze me how little damage Fire Breath does. Like, oh yeah, I am shouting fire at you. You would imagine that it would have a little bit more of an effect. I feel like that has more of an effect when dragons do it. Maybe that's just me. Ruined books, iron ore. I just went in a circle. Where am I going? Gulf Nimble's Lair, Grass Fields, and Fine Tin Roof. Okay, I'm gonna have to go through Gulf Nimble's Lair, I bet. It's a very minor thing, but I wish that the mod author would go back and just fix some of the capitalization for certain things. Like, the Shire. Just Shire isn't capitalized, and I'm just thinking, like, come on, that's the name of the mod. Please, just capitalize it. Same with the Dark Brotherhood and stuff like that. It's very minor stuff. Like, it's very, very, very minor stuff, but to me, it's just, it's just polish, and that's something that I always, like, helps elevate the quality of a mod to me. It's just like, just those little touches that kind of like show that you took that extra time and effort to go back and just like, really you know, dot all the I's, cross all the T's. Stuff like that. Hello? Anybody? Home? You're like, oh, what happened to my friend? Well, if I walk towards his body, nothing bad could possibly happen to me, correct? Oh no, don't don't leave. Damn it, I thought I I overestimated where he would be. There we go. I don't know what caused it, but while I was just walking around, still trying to figure out where to go, the marker for where she is updated and it's saying that she's in this cell. So it seems I'm on the right path then. I just need to figure out where to go to get to her. Oh, alright. Here we go. This place is just big. It is stupid big. Which I mean... There's just different people who like different things. Uh, to me, this is almost unnecessarily big because it's essentially just part of... I guess I would almost call it a side quest. It's a side quest, one of several side quests that builds to the next main quest. So having something this big for something that's essentially just like you're just going through here to get someone, to me, 
it's a little unnecessary, but I also know people who are more than happy to get these massive, massive dungeons, even if just for side stuff. So I think it all comes down to personal preference in the end. Wait, almost dead. I also saw on the mod page that um, the mod author says that this has about 30 hours worth of content. To which I say, oh, that is a lot. And I'm curious to see how accurate that is. Obviously, there will be things that are cut down because I take out stuff like, oh, we walked through this area, so I just cut out the walking if nothing happens and stuff like that, but I'm curious how long the mod does take in the end. Hi, how are you? Don't mind me. Nothing bad is possibly going to happen to you. Nothing at all. Oh, I, I have to wait for my shout to come back. D just, uh, excuse me. You seem quite happy to see me. Hey, a little help over here? It'd be a shame if something happened to you. Wouldn't it? A any second now. Any second. Also, I'm telling you right now, nothing's gonna happen. She's not gonna go flying off or anything. Hey! Oh! Is she gonna go back to being tied up, or...? Good. It's been quiet for far too long. <laughs> oh, uh, I I broke it. That that is my bad. That's why we saved because I had a feeling that something was going to happen. All right. Hey, a little help over here? Maybe later. I'm gonna look around. Don't go away. What's that? You're actually admitting to needing help? No, I'll just let you free. I do need you to vouch for me, after all. Uh-oh. Uh, wait, hearing goblin scrawls? What does that mean? I freed you. Hearing goblin Hear scrawls. The goblins know you freed me. Let's get out of here. Okay. Escape the goblin warrens. Is there a faster way out of here? That would be nice. That would be great. I know, I only took one of the rubies. I don't want to leave the goblins with nothing for themselves. Oh, hi. You've made your choice. Now you'll die with it. Easy. Oh, all right. You scared me a little bit. <laughs> you scared me a little. It's popping up right in front of my face. And we're home free. For the Shire! Oh, and never mind, not home free. Not home free you at made all. Your choice. Now you'll die oh, with it. Sure. I hope that's not bad. Oh, his, his weapon disappeared. Did you see that? He had a weapon and now he doesn't. Come on, get him. I'm tougher than you think. Come on, get him. Easy. There you go. Well, I suppose I owe you thanks. I'm not sure what those goblins would have done to me had you not arrived when you did. But just one more thing. Could you not bring this up to Thorman when he asks? He worries about me enough as it is. And if you found out, well, I'd probably never breathe the crisp outside air again. Um. I don't really care either way. But it's about time someone knocked you down a peg, frankly. He kind of does deserve to know what happened. But I need your trust, so fine. Don't worry then, I won't say a word. That's a relief. 
I'll handle the report personally. Come on, we better get back to the hideout before they send somebody else to check up on us. Ah, oh, your regard for me increased. I'd like to know more about your past. I suppose you're wondering what happened to my brother then. That's what you asked last time. But I didn't want to say anything about it. I suppose I deserve an answer now, though. It wasn't that long ago. Not even a full year when my uncle left at Joan Halbard's company. Our training was still very much incomplete at the time of his leaving, so to compensate, he told us to seek out the chief ranger of the Shire. His chief foreman was renowned for turning young Minamorian novices into fully capable and experienced rangers. So we left to finish our training under his guidance. Uh, your uncle greatly oversold Thorman's teaching ability. Oof. No. Please continue. Along our way here, we took a brief stop at Ray to rest our feet and eat our fill. It was too long, in my opinion. While we're in the tavern, some blonde started a long chat with the Donan. I knew she was trouble from the beginning, but did my brother listen? No! He had to impress her with the stories of his ranger training and all the battles he had. Ahem. <clears throat> One. Well, when I woke up the next morning, both my brother and that swine were gone. Years of growing up together, fighting and playing, training and watching, and then he just leaves like that! With a girl he hardly even knew! What kind of brother would do that? Uh, maybe you don't know the whole story? Sounds like your brother's a mere fool. Good thing he ditched you when he did. Um, maybe you don't know the whole story. You take his side? I don't know he him! abandoned me! There was absolutely no reason to do that! None! I waited for him to return for weeks, but nothing ever changed. I was left alone with no idea how to proceed and still questioning the meaning of my predicament. Finally, I realized that there was only one thing left to do. I had to continue towards the Shire. By that time, I had waited nearly a month and, well, it became apparent he wasn't coming back. No matter how much I wanted to believe it. And if you thought you had it bad when you arrived here, Foreman kept me on the doorstep for a solid week before he let me into the base. Apparently, my uncle forgot to mention that I was coming to the Shire, and they were only expecting my brother. It took longer still to convince them of my new Nemorian bloodline and skills with a blade. But that's about all I've got. I apologize if my backstory isn't an expansive one. But it's not exactly if I have a lot to tell. I'm still fairly young as Nunamorians go. So I'm I'm down with you. I'm I'm up from rescuing you, down from that conversation. You you can go now. Oh, is she following me? Yeah, I have to actually take her back myself. <laughs> I mean it makes sense. Uh, when does it trigger you being back? All right, back there we me go. up if things go south. Otherwise, just don't say anything. You could manage that, right? Sure. Sure. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that the quest was still going. That way I didn't leave and possibly miss the conversation and dialogue between her and... And our fearless leader. Oh. Oh, here we go. D don't look at me. Look at him. Tenru, I'm assuming you're prepared to tell me why such a brief scouting mission ended up taking so long. It wasn't planned that way. I assure you. But... During my walk, I ran into a few halfling hunters, one of which was badly injured. So, I applied some of the wound healing techniques Firesaw taught me, and tended to his injuries. Guess it took a little longer than I thought. Alright, you've said your piece. Now, I want to talk with the Outlander. Alone. There's bread in your tankard. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? 
He gets quite delusional sometimes. Pulled me around in the family, and... You know what? No, fuck you. Alone. No. No, 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 no. Yes, of course, Captain. You're trying to throw me under the bus? She's a good student, but a horrible liar. Tell me, what really happened out there? Yeah, two things. First off... First off, uh, she completely threw me under the bus there. It's like, oh, don't listen to him. He has delusions. It's like, no, 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 no. Now I'm not lying for you just because of that. Second off, he knows you're lying, so I'm not lying for you at all. She was captured by goblins. I had to free her. Also, we're not alone. I'm pretty sure she's still standing right here listening. Oh, no, she left. Okay. Yeah, she was captured. I had to free her. And it's a good thing you arrived when you did. Else we'd be down a ranger before the worst of the storm even surfaced. Thank you, friend. For the truth. For escorting the youngest of our company home. He... Well, she's gonna be pissed at me. She's gonna be real upset, and frankly, I don't care. What did you tell Thorman? Can I lie to her? Your excuse was feeble. I had to go with the truth. Figures. Thurman's always been the one to snip out a lie. Guess it was foolish to attempt one. Nevertheless, I'm glad you had my back. How many of the others would have? That means something to me. Oh, okay. When the time comes, I'll proudly vouch on your behalf. All right. And her regard for me increased. That just leaves one last person. Meet with Fordant to gain his trust. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What are you doing out here? I didn't send for aid. Thorman said I could find you here. Did he now? So, you were seeking my endorsement then. I don't know if you've looked around, but there's not a lot you can help with. The ruffians and goblins typically steer clear of this place, mostly because I am always walking out here. However, if you're looking just to talk, I have plenty of time. I suppose if Thorman had dispatched me somewhere eventful, I may not welcome inane conversation. However, this is the third time he's assigned me this route, and it's one of the safest roads in the Shire. Come now, there is much that can be discussed as we patrol. Do you know why we're losing the Shire, Outlander? It's not because we lack manpower or strength. We are five rangers strong, six should you pass the trials. But even five rangers is an excessive amount for an area such as this. In reality, two rangers could protect this land. Three could do it with ease, and four would be near overkill. Yet this is not the case here, for reasons the others refuse to think about. You, you can keep walking. You don't need to wait up for me. I'm right behind you. I'm following you very well. Does, do you have anything else to say, or... No, okay, he's just... He's just quiet. I know what you would assume, that it is an issue with skill. The rangers here are young for their race, and are limited in their abilities. A fair observation, we are some of the youngest of the Nunamorians, all gathered here to carry out a job that should be relatively easy. But where skill is considered, we are still rangers, and we can fight as well as the best of them. Nope, it just ran ahead slightly. Well, unlike the others, I've actually been digging into this, trying to find our problem and solution to it as well. Want to hear it? Yes! Of course you don't, but that's not going to stop my ranting. It's purely strategy. Wait, I want to hear it. We spend far too long reporting progress back to our captain, or waiting for the captain's approval before we do anything. That was great when there was one goblin sighting a month, but now that more pop up every day, we're just wasting time. We need to work independently, use our own instinct and judgment when it comes to making decisions. After all, if we're all thinking exactly what the captain's thinking, are any of us actually thinking at all? What happened should Thorman fall? Nobody would know what to do. The rangers would be in total chaos and we'd be struck down one by one. 
Sure, Biasel could take over the leadership role, but she's a second-in-command person and always will be. Ouch. Unrivaled as the support staff, lousy as the leader. Just don't tell her I said that. Well... Over the last weeks, we've seen more goblins and bandits in the Shire than we ever did in the last hundred years. It has become clear that if we're going to survive, we need to change our approach a little. Problem is, Thorman's a stubborn one, and all my attempts at convincing him have fallen short. I need you to walk for more than two seconds at a time. Sometimes, like... A beauty salon in a dwarven city. <laughs> That's a decent analogy. Might use that later. Because the thing of, I get if he stops to talk to me and get me to say something to him, but he's not. So just, just keep going, keep walking, please. Hold it. Do you see what that man ahead of us is doing? I don't see any man. He's studying the village below, looking Wait. for possible invasion points and weaknesses in the. Oh, okay, patrol. I see him. A scout of the enemies, no doubt. All right, outsider. You wanted my trust. Go talk to him. I want to observe how you would handle a situation like this. Hey, you! What the fuck do you think you're doing over here? You can't even see over that wall. Wait, can you? No, you're you are just staring at a wall. Oh no, I remember you. You're the one from Hoflinton. The one who tried getting in between me and my partner's business transaction. Yeah, that's what right. What do you want now? Just walking about. You. Don't try to pass it up. I know what you're doing. Know what the problem is with vigilantes like you. You're always getting into everyone else's business. One day that's gonna get you killed. Just buzz off if you know what's good for you. I'm no vigilante. I'm a ranger. What? No, impossible. You're trying to play me for a fool. Of course you think I'll be too scared to fight, don't you? See the gentleman behind me? Do you think you can take on two rangers? What other f- Oh, you're right. He's a ranger for sure. I can tell by his height and by that look in his eyes. L let's get something clear. I ain't want nothing to do with no rangers. We got no quarrel, you and I, right? We can be civil about this whole thing. I'll just leave. You'll be okay with that. Right? Get out of here. Right. Of, of course. Now, back to business. Back to business. Oh, I'll just casually stroll on out of here now that you threatened me and now that I threatened you. Oh no, can't look at this brick wall anymore. I wouldn't suggest advertising your position as a ranger in the future. It could oh. attract unneeded attention. Well, no one tells me these However, things. However, Outlander, you've done better than expected and proven that you can take proper action when necessary. When Thorman gathers us to perform your initiation, you can count on my support. <gasps> you people don't tell me these things. You're like, I want to see how you handle this. And I talked to him and it's like, oh, why would you tell him that you're a ranger? It's like, because I was given no other instruction. How was I supposed to know that I shouldn't be advertising it? I didn't want him to think that we're just vigilantes. I didn't want him to think that we're just some random people just strolling around threatening him. That wouldn't help at all. Oh, all right. Well, the good news is we have everyone's support. So now we can move things along.